Hello, this is Archie Dunlop on Monday, March the 6th, 2023, with Talking Astrology with Archie. It is Sam Bankman Freed's birthday. He's going to be 31 today. So, happy birthday, Sam. And today I will be looking at his horoscope. Now, he is the man, if you don't know, who um, has caused huge damage to the crypto world. It was his company, FTX, that uh, went to the wall last year and led to a major fall in the price of Bitcoin. And I want to look at his horoscope and how his son in Pisces might have influenced him. But before I do that, I want to look at today's stars. Okay, so the moon is in Virgo, where it makes an opposition aspect to Mercury. Now, moon in Virgo is quite sensitive to the physical world. It's um, quick to pick up on pollutants. Um, It likes things to be natural. So, All of us need to avoid chemicals, um, eat healthy, organic stuff, and don't over. We mustn't overexpose ourselves to noise, fumes, you know, whatever might upset our delicate metabolism. And with um, Moon opposition Mercury, um, I think. uh, we're going to be slightly conflicted. You know, Mercury is in Pisces at the moment. And Pisces is a bad sign for Mercury to be in. That's because Mercury is um, in its uh, detriment in Pisces. It, it doesn't work very well in this sign. You know, Mercury is supposed to be an intellectual sign, supposed to be a thinking sign. And in when it's in Pisces, it just gets con- it gets confused. Um, it reaches the wrong conclusions, and with the moon opposition Mercury, this really exacerbates the problem. We you know we could make all sorts of mistakes. So I would suggest that we don't make big decisions today. Um, we don't um, you know don't put ourselves in a position where we could make financial mistakes. And while all this is going on, uh, Venus is making a 45 degree planet to the hypothetical called a hypothetical planet called Admetos. Admetos is a planet of delayed death. You know, when we don't want to die and we postpone it. And I think with Venus making a semi square to Admetos. Uh, remembering that Venus is a planet of relationships, I think we are trying to avoid the inevitable. Some of our relationships have finished. They finished probably quite a long time ago, but we're kidding ourselves and we want to continue with them. So think about the all the people you know, whether it's in romance, business, friends, whatever, um, and ask yourself whether it's really realistic. Are you perhaps living in the past by continuing your relationship with them? Because sometimes it's best to just accept the inevitable. Now, as far as Sam Bankman-Fried is concerned, he was born on March the 6th, 1992. So he's going to be 31 today. And he is, yes, he's a Pisces. Now, Pisces has um, a rather checkered reputation. Um, Pisceans um, certainly can be very sensitive. Um, They can even be quite intuitive. I mean, Albert Einstein, he was a Pisces. Um, You know, they can soak up information. They just know it. And um, maybe, you know, When you're dealing with Sam Bankman-Fried, he went to the MIT, clearly a very smart person. I think he, you know, has degrees in physics and mathematics and that kind of thing. Um, So 
he's clever, but uh, with Pisces, you kind of get an idea about how he might have drifted. So if we look at his story, you know, he graduated from MIT. Um, he got a job in finance. He um, found a way to make a lot of money from crypto. Uh, I think he was buying Bitcoin cheap in one place, you know, buying it cheap in one place, selling it expensive in another place, and in the process, um, making a fortune. And so perhaps being a typical Pisces, he was someone who tended to go with the flow. And sometimes it can be great going with the flow. You know, we just, we're successful. We move from one success to another. But there can be a certain laziness to going with the flow. You know, if things are worth going in one way, we just keep going. So if we believe that we can make money by trading cryptocurrency, we just um, we just keep going and um, we somehow find a way of um, uh, swimming past our swimming past our losses because it's difficult to keep keep making keep making a profit and. It's interesting that Pisceans often have a reputation for being quite delicate and charitable and they like to go, you know, they like to do what's fashionable. I say, why, when I say fashionable, I mean that the water signs like Pisces, they just pick up on the way people are at a particular time. And one thing he picked up on was this concept of altruism, that somehow what you've got to do is get a job where you can, or be in a business, where you can um, use your profits to make the world a better place. I mean, that's a wonderful idea. Um, it's, you know, that's that's what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, of course, it's ridiculous. Um, it doesn't work like that. But that's what he thought. And so he was taking his profits from FTX, or supposed, or, sorry, not profit. I mean, the money that was coming in, um, and giving it away. He was giving it away to um, politicians, um, various uh, good causes. And so that is typical Pisces. You just get carried away with the with the generosity. You know, when people, you know, people go to your exchange, you set up this exchange, FTX, um, they think they're buying Bitcoin and he takes he takes the money and he or his company takes the money and they do something else with it. They don't necessarily buy the Bitcoin. They buy um, um, they buy maybe their own coin, or maybe they want to give the money to Joe Biden. And so he just gets gets carried away with the whole thing. Um, looking at other things about his chart, he's got the moon in Aries. So moon in Aries is um, very um, impulsive. You know, he has an idea, he wants to do it, doesn't want to be held back. And... Moon in Aries, if you've got Moon in Aries and Sun in Pisces, you're born just after the new moon. And people born after the new moon are, are quite fresh. It's like it's a new scene. Everything is new. So he comes into the world and this is exciting and, you know, there's no perhaps not too much introspection. Let's do it. You know, it's let's take advantage of all these opportunities and let's not worry about the technicalities. And it does seem with FTX, remembering his son in Pisces, he just allowed the thing to just snowball out of control. And I suspect he really didn't know what was what was going on. I know he's facing a huge prison sentence, but I don't think he thought he was. My feeling is he didn't really think he was um, ripping people off. He thought he just thought everything was fine. Let's just go with the flow. That That's what I think. Yet there is a darkness to his chart. Um, he has a conjunction between Mars and Saturn in Aquarius. Um, that to me points to something we don't normally hear about. It's maybe it's about a, gr a considerable degree of frustration, um, not quite knowing how he's going to put his energy to work and feeling that he's being blocked and um, I kind of feel sorry for him believe it or not because I think that if he goes to prison that Mars Saturn conjunction is going to be really hard and I'm wondering 
how he dealt, d d d you know, how he deals with that Mars Saturn. I know he's really into video gaming, and it may be that the video gaming is how he deals, he how he deals with that frustration. And I should also say that he has got Zeus, uh, hypothetical planet, um, sesquiquadrate Mars Saturn. Um, I'm, I'm slightly worried about that. Um, I was looking at Vitter's, Alfred Vitter's book on that, and he talked about unforgivable actions with uh, Zeus on the Mars Saturn midpoint. Um, Sam Bankman Freed, whether he's convicted or not, has made a lot of enemies, and I don't think those enemies are going to go away. So I do think he, you know, he has to be careful, I'm afraid, for the rest of his life. I mean, I think that's, I think that's really sad. So um, those are a few comments on his chart. I, I, I just don't think he knew what he was getting into. That's my view. I don't think he was a calculated criminal. I don't think even, you know, even though the, the sums of money may be more, I don't know. But, you know, he's not in the Ber Bernie Mad... Bernie, um, Bernie Madoff League, as far as I'm concerned. I just think he just got caught up, carried away, and uh, I, I, I kind of hope that um, his, you know, the court ha has some kind of mercy on him, assuming he's convicted. Um, and he still thinks he, I believe he's saying he, because he can find that he's looking for a way of paying back the money. You know, that's typical Pisces, wishful thinking. So I think, yeah, I think that Sam Bankman Freed is a typical Pisces, and um, by looking at his life, I think we can learn something about this star sign. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say on the matter, and I will see you tomorrow.